I first came across EFQM, Business Excellence Model, probably about 20 years ago. Um, and for me, it was quite an enlightening experience from the point of view the secret was out. Because if you follow the Business Excellence Model properly, it really teaches you and shows you how to lead and how to run a business. It reinforced for me the importance of culture within a business. I think it was a common theme that I picked out of most of the areas they touched on this morning. Um, and when you look at culture, easy word to say, very hard thing to put in place, but it links back to everything from recruitment, recruiting for um, attitude, which builds the right people into the business from the start, and then developing that through the business, uh, and then obviously adding communication and so on. So, yes, culture was the main thing I'll take away in terms of importance from today. A consistent message coming across is that excellence doesn't happen overnight. It's not the result of one thing, but it's a result of many, many things combined. And a lot of the things that the research has found uh, you will be doing, a lot of the practices may seem small, may seem inconsequential, and I guess in their, in, on their own, they would be. But what the excellence model is all about is looking at everything and looking at improving everything. There is uh, no silver bullet, as, as they say, unless you, you consider the whole thing, the excellence model, the whole ethos of, of continually striving to be better. Reading the report will give uh, managers, uh, CEOs, really some, some food for thought about what's going to work best in the context of their own organisation. So they can take bits and pieces from this work, customise it, rethink it a little bit in their own context and potentially provide ex ex increased exceptional excellent value for their customers. First of all, I think it was really encouraging the BQF actually um, did the uh, research again because like all good businesses or organisations, it should test its theories. So really good to see that that was done. Uh, the findings that really impressed with the fact that it still puts a strong emphasis on uh, customer and people, colleagues in the businesses. Uh, and the high performing companies that do just that. They are really in touch with their customers uh, and they really listen to their employees or frontline staff particularly. Uh, to design their products um, to improve them and actually ensure that the customer gets what the customer desires. We thought it would be a good opportunity for us to share some of the things that we think we do well with um, a wider audience, but obviously also to learn from um, the experience of the other participants who've been involved. You've got to be in it for the long run. We started this journey in 1998. We chose the EFQM Excellence Model and the BQF to address the issues that had been uh, looked at by the Office of the Deputy Prime Minister uh, through the Egan and Latham reports and how the industry had to improve and we felt this model and this organisation could help us improve. It's all about um, sharing amongst the community and the community um, shares very easily and readily and that's, uh, that's a marvellous thing to be part of BQF and have, have all that uh, knowledge at, at your fingertips. Um, what I got out of today was that everything works and hangs together and to echo John's words, culture, but the people make the culture and defining who you want to work for your organisation and how they're going to permeate and impact your culture I think was the most important element that I got out of today.